Good evening, I'm Carol Wilkinson and for Tara Rosenblum, thanks for joining us. Fidel Castro is dead. The former Cuban president died last night at the age of 90. Well, that's what you hear. Neighbors tell us it is a 24 hour a day, seven day a week nuisance. And Yonkers police are awaiting autopsy results on the body of a man found near a fast food restaurant. Cops investigating the crash that happened here tell me that their investigation is still ongoing. Firefighters are saying it was better to be safe than sorry. He was left on the street to die and now an elderly Mount Vernon man is hospitalized with serious injuries. They were Muslims, African Americans, Jewish people. Cold, hard proof that four people lost their lives here. A bride to be and her groom's best man were killed in a boating accident on the Hudson River. Well, that's right, Rebecca. Cops have been here on the scene since about 1.30 this afternoon after answering a call about a man unconscious and not breathing. Well, his death has now been ruled suspicious, and the house you've seen beside me is now a crime scene. Uniformed officers and detectives coming in and out of the multifamily house at 214 South Fifth Avenue. Inside, the body of a man, a neighbor identified as Marty. Louis Stevens says cops told him Marty had been beaten. He was elderly, he was 75, uh, he was frail. And uh, I don't know why somebody had to beat him up. I mean, uh, you can push him over with, with, uh, with your finger. From what I understand, it is uh, a person that is elderly, and, and we are taking a hard look at this matter, especially given the timing of it. I know tomorrow at 10 a.m. we'll be having a press conference where we, where we may be able to provide more details. Again, as Mayor Thomas just said, they are planning a news conference tomorrow at 10 a.m., hopefully to share more details. But in the meantime, you see crime scene tape roping off the house here. Also right behind me, the Westchester County Police Crime Scene Unit. Their forensics team is inside. This is an active investigation going on in what police will only describe at this point as a suspicious death. In Mount Vernon, Carol Wilkinson, News 12. It's several booms, boom, 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 boom. Amy Goldsmith describing what she's had to live with since repair crews laid down these steel plates to cover the massive hole left behind after a water pipe burst about two weeks ago. Even though my room is at the back of the house, every time a car or a truck goes over them, I hear it and I wake up. Yeah, that's what you hear. Neighbors tell us it is a 24 hour a day, seven day a week nuisance. And they say the noise is affecting their quality of life. And I jumped out of my, off the couch when I heard it the first time. I came out at one point because it was so loud, I thought, something had happened. Village manager Janine King says while her office hasn't received any noise complaints, they're doing everything they can to make the repairs quickly. We need asphalt. This time of year, the only asphalt um, place is down in Queens. So we expect weather permitting to have it repaired in the middle of next week. Um, and then the plates will be removed. Well, the plate removal can't come soon enough for the residents on Cleveland Drive. In Croton on Hudson, Carol Wilkinson, News 12. Well, Rebecca, what started as a sunny day here on the lake, on the water here at Sparkle Lake in Yorktown, has turned into this. Take a look behind me. You can see the searchers still on the water, also divers underneath the water, and what police are still calling a rescue mission to find a missing man. Divers still in the water as part of the search that began just after 2 p.m. on Sparkle Lake in Yorktown. Stephen Reed of Yorktown declined to appear on camera, but told us what he saw. We watched this guy float by in his raft, and uh, he was just as calm as could be, laid back, and we heard the commotion, so the RMPs pull up, and uh, I grabbed his raft and jumped in the water, trying to look for him. Everybody else was, nobody was here yet, so. How did he end up in the water and off the raft? I did not see that. Although signs clearly warned that there's no lifeguard on duty and the beach is closed for the season, 
Investigators say the man was floating on this device when he went under. Still being considered a rescue effort, and every uh, every everything that can be done is being done to try to recover the uh, person who went in the water. And still a very somber scene here at Sparkle Lake. You can see the fire department, police officers, rescuers here. Very somber scene as they stand here, still with hopes of finding the man who went into the water. Also, I want to direct your attention. You can see one of the divers who has uh, surfaced just moments ago. Uh, divers have been coming in and out of the water, but so far, they have found nothing. Now, I asked them how long they plan to stay out here. Uh, as one of the first responders told me, we're going to stay out here indefinitely, but we may have to make a decision come nightfall if we still haven't found him. In Yorktown, Carol Wilkinson. News 12. Well, that's right, Scott. Uh, the rally broke up uh, just a little while ago, but I want to let you know that the people who were here, they represented all different uh, parts of diversity here in Westchester. They were Muslims, African Americans, Jewish people, people from the LGBTQ community, and they gathered here at the base of the statue of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to speak out in one voice against hatred. These are the soldiers in the fight against bigotry and hate in Westchester County and indeed nationwide. Gathered at the base of the Martin Luther King Jr. statue at the county courthouse in White Plains, they make up the group united against hate. As a Christian, I, I think the basis of our uh, belief should be founded in love and, and spreading that love and making sure that everybody understands that love is the foundation and should be the foundation of the world. For those gathered, these recent images of swastikas painted on the campus of Purchase College and this hate symbol on the Bronx River Parkway jogging path served as a call to action. We all should be treated with respect, with dignity, with dignity regardless of our race, color, background, creed, religion. I think that we certainly have to make our voices heard and at least assert that a part of the community is going to speak up against the atmosphere of hate and bigotry that seems to have bubbled up in this election season. Well, the rally may have ended, but the people that were here earlier said that they felt it was important to leave behind the message that when you attack one of us, you attack all of us. In White Plains, Carol Wilkinson, News 12. All right. Thanks very much for that, Carol.